Pasu and welcome back to another video of me talking about Sangatsu no Lion. And today we got a cruel episode. It's hard to find better words to explain this episode. It was just cruel. It was evil. It was such a feel bad and get angry at a certain character and having your own issues and troubles to keep your anger in check. So what happened? We got the episode with Re going to the tournament with a fan meeting for the participants. The, well, the guys who are fighting in that match. Basically that white-haired god angel devil-like figure and Shimada. And we also got back the adoptive father of Rei. And he then talked with him and asked about Kyoko, which obviously will bring a shit ton of trouble. That said, Re talking with him and the adoptive father Koda finding out that Kyoko wasn't staying with Re. So he's worried about his daughter, which is obvious and it's also a good thing. And he then decided to block the credit cards of his daughter. And Kyoko, as she is, as we know her, as we maybe love her, I don't know, was pissed and wending her anger at Ray. So he was being insulted and she was throwing out some really hard lines like that he is choosing the next family to destroy and stuff like that and that must have hurt. But there was the saver of the day which was Hina because the three of them saw Rei fighting with Kyoko Momo being afraid and calling her a witch. Agari, well, she's a bit older and more major, so she was like, oh, okay. And Hina at first was, didn't say anything. And when they went away to get home, Hina was pissed and irritated and she returned, handed over a huge bento box to and then left. Which is funny because that was leading us to what happened next. Which was basically Kyoko following Rei home and eating his food. That's a bit on the comedy side, but it's funny because we got two views of Kyoko's character. We got her high and mighty, arrogant, savage, evil, cruel, bitchy personality that you will just hate. And then we got the, well, she's troubled, don't know what to do and stuff like this. So yeah, she has her own issues and problems and doesn't know how to fix them or even trying to fix them and then she's also troubling Re and being like this but at the end of the episode it was once again clear that she's just a little girl who's a bit older than Re not knowing what to do, 
being a grown up in terms of age and body, but a mindset still like a girl, not knowing what to do. So, on one side, I was pissed and angry and really irritated because the way she was insulting and fighting with the rape. On the other hand, I was once again angry and irritated and pissed because she's more or less a grown-up, acts like a grown-up and still has no clue what the fuck is going on. And it's may not be that I like her character that much, but at least she's still interesting and I wonder if we will ever get to see some sort of fixing of her own problems or something like that. And it's also funny because Ray asked her why she was choosing Goto and her answer was she, she doesn't know. She wants to ask herself that question. So yeah, maybe it is love. I'm not sure about it. Maybe she's just trying one way to deal with her own issues. Maybe. Or she's just uh, rebelling against what the fuck ever was happening back at their home with Re and she just kinda wants some sort of attention from her parents. Maybe. It's possible. We don't really know. Anyways, that's basically that what happened in this episode and I'm really curious to see what will happen next in the episode. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye.